Uh, first, I'd just like to start off and, um, you know, give credit to Coach Gately and her staff and her team. Um, they gave us a lot of different looks today, and it was tough for us to score, but we found a way. Um, holding their best players to zero points was an unbelievable effort. And, uh, you know, getting on the boards, we had 47 rebounds, which is uh, – I can't remember the last time that happened. So just an unbelievable effort. I'm super proud of these two young women sitting right next to me. Um, they play with their heart and their soul, and you can see it every game. Mary, to be in this moment and to know that there's a championship in year one of Division One play, year one in the NFC, one more to go after everything you've been through this season, just what's going through you right now? Um, taking a deep breath, <laughs> but you know, just to have an opportunity, you know, when we switched to Division One, I, I think I talked about it last time. I had to go in the locker room and have a team meeting and talk to these guys about not playing for a championship. So the fact that we were able to, you know, figure it out in the summer, the NEC figured out how we can play for championships, you know, really lightened our load a little bit because that's what we are striving to do here. So, you know, the goal's not done. We're looking to win championships. That's always been the goal. And, uh, you know, we're really excited right now. We're going to enjoy it for 24 hours, and then we're going to move on. We're quiet and silent. Knowing that this is the last game of this season at home, just what it meant to you to leave Ted Grant Court with this victory to send you to a championship. Um, it means a lot, especially um, for me and Hayden and Caitlin. Um, I saw last year playing, and uh, we don't get the chance to play on the, this court anymore. So it means a lot to end it off with the W. And for us that are like the season win, we are just happy to be able to give them another chance to keep playing and make it to the next level. Mary, you talked about playing for a championship, but how has this happened throughout the year? You know, what, what has made this team so successful? Um, I mean, these two young ladies right here and our captains and our leadership, it was really difficult in our non-conference. We played some high-level teams, some tough tough competition, um, but they really kept the team together. I think we weren't where, where we needed to be in our preseason, but being on the road, and that's all we had was each other. I think that that togetherness is why we're, we're where we are today is because of our captains and our leadership. To know that the world – going to be watching this championship game. It's an opportunity for exposure for not only the program, but for the school. I'd love to hear from both student athletes and Mary. First, just what you can say about what this means to have this spotlight on a program that you love so dearly. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome, you know, to have LeMoyne's names, you know, scrolling across tickers, uh, being out and, you know, nationally ranked, you know, national TV is awesome. I think they deserve it. I think they've worked hard, you know, in their high school careers for this moment. Um, so I think it's just an unbelievable opportunity for them and our institution. Um, I think this, like the facilities and all the people here at Lemoyne have been like pushing us to be better, and they've been encouraging us. And I think it's just great for us to be able to show them like how much their support has helped us and on and off the field. Um, yeah, we're making history, and it's only the first year. Just imagine what Lemoyne can do over over the years. And for you as the defensive player of the year, we've talked about this to know everything that you've done to get to the point that you are. I know you always give credit to your teammates, but you've matured, you've grown, and you've become such a tremendous leader. Do you feel that on your shoulders now as you're heading to the championship? Um, I mean, there's not a lot on my shoulders because I have my teammates, and I have Coach Grimes who um, guides me in the right direction. Um, she's the reason I'm the leader I am today. She guided me into – Coming out of my shell, she recruited me. She knew what type of play I was. Mary, to know that these two women that you give so much credit to and the entire team, that they committed to you, they committed to this transition, they committed to this move, just that passion project that you've all been on this year. Um, it's just unbelievable, you know, to hear her speak and just the faith and belief that they have in me and um, that I'm looking out for the best in them and their interests. And not only do I want them to be successful on the court, but also off the court, you know, like you, you guys have no idea how much Latoya talks to me in the game now. And it's been unbelievable transition to see her grow as a young woman and a leader. Round three, Sacred Heart. Yes. <laughs> You know, yeah, I mean, you know, you got to play people three times in a season to win championships. You know, um, I think 
the best thing about our team is we stay really, really level-headed. You know, we, we take it one game at a time. Today was the biggest game of our season today. And Sunday would be the biggest game of our season. So that's how we approach every single game. And that's why we're where we're at today. Coach Boyer, I mean, how do you approach, you know, knowing that that, that is your last game no matter what? Like the, the Sacred Heart, staring right at you now. Um, Sacred Heart is a great team. But um, I believe in my team. I believe that we can get the better hand on that game Sunday. And we will work every second of that game. It's our last game, so we got to go out with a bang. Yeah, as you said, go out with the bang. We just got to give um, a little bit of extra effort, and I think we can come out with a win. Okay, Coach. It's the third time around, but the only loss that Sacred Heart has is to you in their house. Uh, and boy, just what you can say about returning there for the opportunity to win a championship. I mean, just going back and forth with them, they should respect us. We respect them. Um, this third game is going to be it's going to be a rough one, but we're going to we're going to go out. Yeah, like Kaya said, um, respect all, fear, fear none. Um, Sacred Heart is an amazing team, but we, we're going to give it to them just as much as they're going to give it to us. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a battle. I mean, you know, great coaches, great staff. You know, they've got, they've got you know, great players on their team as well. So it's going to be a battle. It's not going to be, you know, a 10-minute game. It's going to be a 40-minute game. And that's what we like. We like to play full 40 minutes. I mean, you've seen it all season, the relentlessness of our team. So it's nothing new to us. Um, we're going to go out there and fight and uh, give it our all. What is it saying about the horn that year one playing for a championship? That we're headed in the right direction and our leadership understood where we needed to go. Um, Dr. Lemira, she's an unbelievable leader. And Bob, you know, his vision of moving us to Division One and where we could go, go and grow is just unbelievable.